So here's what we learned specifically. We learned the hard way that customers did not want to use our product to connect with their existing friends. They wanted to use it to make new friends. That doesn't seem like a very big deal. I mean, it's a very modest change in semantics, but you know, from a code and product point of view, that is a radically different product. It required a very different experience. And we didn't throw out every line of code, but we had to throw out a lot. The pivot was quite dramatic. And I made myself feel better with this whole learning story until I asked myself the following question. I mean, literally, I was up nights once I had this question asked to me, which was, wait a minute. If my goal of the last six months was to learn this important thing about customers, why did it take six months? How come the word learning is only coming up now after we failed and we need an excuse? We never used the word learning, not one time during those six months. All we ever did was argue about features and bugs. And then I was like, but would we have had the same learning if we'd built a slightly different first product? Like, for example, did we have to support all seven IM networks? What if we'd supported only three? Would the learning value have been the same? Sure, customers won't download, so who cares? But what if we'd supported only one network? Learning value the same. Now, that's a lot of code. Between seven networks and one, that's a lot less code needed to be written. But this is the thought that literally made me sick to my stomach. I said, wait a minute. What if we had just created a single web page and in three hours created a photo mock-up of what the product was going to look like and said, hey, download this amazing 3D avatar instant messaging add-on and had a big download button? Would we even have had to create the second page where we admit that we didn't build the product or would a 404 have been adequate? Come on, it's the 404, obviously, <laughs> because nobody would download the product. It was a deal breaker. Nobody wanted it. That meant that we didn't even need page two. And that was really upsetting to me personally. Why? Because I look at my business card, and what did it say? Uh, it said a lot of things, but all I saw was guy who writes code. My job is to make features. So if I went home at the end of the day and I read good code, I had a good day. And now, but then I was like, but if my goal is to learn this thing about customers and I can do it without code, is that my job? Is it possible that something I could do in three hours is just as meritorious as something that requires 25,000 lines of code? It didn't seem right. But I think that's actually true. Fundamentally, startups exist to learn how to build a sustainable business. We call it validated learning because we have to back up that learning quantitatively. Any, any old idiot can tell a good story. But we need a system for rigorously assessing, are we actually learning how to build a sustainable business? And everything else is a complete and total waste of time, including our precious code.